All right, so here's what I want to do. <clears throat> I want to share with you my Shade UQ truths. This is Dennis Gebhardt, Captain Color, Guru Nation. This is my truths about the product since I was there at its birth. And it still works the same way. Not much has changed with that product. So here we go. First set of truths. Shade UQ will generate some tonal shift on certain textures of hair. Absolutely. Absolutely it will. Think about it. You're using an alkaline color. It is alkaline in the bottle before you mix it with processing solution. And even with processing solution, it processes close to neutral, close to seven. We call that neutral and we think that, well, that's a safe zone. But realize this, water has a pH of seven. If it's good water, most many water systems now have a pH of eight or nine. So water will swell the cuticle layer itself. So if I'm using a product that incorporates an oxidation product like processing solution, is it possible on certain fine textures of hair that I could create a line of demarcation? Absolutely. We call that tonal shift. Sometimes in the darkest shade, you don't even see it and it's not that noticeable, but it is possible for that to happen. So you can't just use it you know, willy nilly and expect it to be a safe thing to work with. You have still have to give it respect for what it is. Okay. It is a permanent hair color. That's exactly what it is. It has permanent oxidative dyes in it. So it's really a permanent hair color that gives you minimal and sometimes no tonal shift at all. So, you know, that's where shades lives. That's the reason it was created. That was the reason it was created. Number two, you will not notice it in darker shades. I just said that. Number three, Shades EQ requires a 20 minute room temperature for full deposit of dye intermediate. 20 minutes, 20 minutes, not five minutes at the shampoo bowl, not three minutes at the shampoo bowl. Now, you know, you do you because people are doing all kinds of stuff at the shampoo bowl. And then they put in social media, well, you know, I don't like that stuff because it doesn't last. Well, if you only process it for two to three minutes at the shampoo bowl, you've only <laughs> you get you've not given the dye intermediates time to actually connect. So yeah, you've under-processed that product. And by under-processing the product, you diminish the longevity. So don't blame the product. Look at your behavior. 20 minutes. Room temperature is all that you need. You don't need to cook this product into the air. It was never designed to be processed under heat. The original formulation was 20 minutes at room temperature, five minutes with heat for resistant gray. And the only reason we said five minutes was because there was a product called cellophane in the marketplace. <clears throat> and they asked, you know, can we use it like cellophane? Because Sebastian was teaching cellophanes with heat. And of course, you know, we want them to buy the product. We said, sure, you can put it under for five minutes. But it's not necessary. It's not necessary. Shade UQ cannot close the cuticle. Please understand this. Even at the pH of 6.9, the cuticle will still be swollen. In order to close the cuticle, you have to bring it, you have to use something on the opposite side, on the down low on the acid side something 3.5 or 4.0, because the hair's optimum pH is 4.5 to 5.0 on the pH scale. Please understand that Shade EQ does not close the cuticle. Shade EQ cannot restore hair to its natural pH of 4.5 to 5.5. I'm sorry. It's a very forgiving product, but it doesn't do that. It's hair color. Shade UQ has background in, in addition to tone. Please remember this. Shade DQ has background. All blended colors have background. Every time I add a shade to my formula that has additional background, I am driving my formula closer to the center of the color wheel. That's why when I see these Shade DQ formulas where they're using uh, 6T, 7B, uh, the, the double blues and all that, all those have background in them. 
And then they say, look at all the reflex. There is no reflex. You must have a great imagination to see reflex. And the reason for that is because you buried it. And we do that because we formulate from fear. We're not formulating from confidence. And so those are the things I want you to remember about shade. You know, if you understand how to work with that, and this really goes for all demi-permanent hair colors, but I'm focused on shades today because I have an emotional connection to that product. And that's why I want people to understand is that some of these stories you hear are absolutely incorrect. They're not sound. 